I mean, everything I've, I think I've had them for maybe a, almost a year now. So anything I've done this, this past year from, from Brandy Carlisle to Chris Stapleton to God, I don't know. Lots of stuff. How about that? <laughs> Shania Twain, lots of stuff, you know? So I was uh country music hall hall of fame here in Nashville was doing an event uh, and I was helping them mix some stuff for that. And so next door at studio a I'm at RC studio a here in Nashville's RC studio B a legendary studio where, you know, the Everly brothers and Elvis and Dolly Parton and Waylon Jennings, all these incredible artists recorded and uh, they have these chambers over there. So I wanted to use the chambers on the recording. So I went over and they had chambers and the, the original plates that were there. And uh, I remember hearing the plates and chambers thinking like, oh my God, this is so 3D. This is so it's so amazing. Whatever's happening with the studio is absolutely magic, which it is. It's a legendary place. It's been on so many great records and didn't think twice about converters. It wasn't about that. You know, I get back to, to my place, same material on, on you know, and, and put it up on mine. It's like, God, it, it doesn't have the same 3D thing that it had next door. And so I kind of traced down the, the what what it w- was making that happen. It was definitely the, the links. The links had this depth that I could hear into that I hadn't been able to hear quite the same before. So, uh, of course, I demoed a 16-channel you know, uh, links, and, and there it was. The same thing. I was hearing the same image that I heard next door. So that's when I was, uh, you know, called links and, and knocked the doors down to get one as soon as possible. So... I bought I bought two of them. I bought two thirty channel, two thirty two channel versions of it because I, I loved it so much. I didn't want to kind of be without it. So I have, you know, kind of multiple rooms, and so uh, it's it's really become the de facto co- converter. And I go to tape a lot. So what I really like about it is very transparent, and it has a ton of depth. So if I want to go, you know, I'm using old consoles and old equipment. I go to tape. It's got a lot of size. The Aurora just preserves that. It kind of is almost like I, I removed the converter from the, the the chain, if that makes any sense. I'm not trying to have it have a sound. I just wanted to I wanted to capture the depth, and that's what it does. So basically, it preserves the analog purity that I that I, I want and keeps it there. Looking for your favorite thing. Well, it's it's right here. <laughs> it's hiding over there. I used to have a big rack of lots of converters, but now you see just. <laughs> It's just that, but it basically, you know, goes from all this old equipment, tape machines hiding somewhere back there, and, and straight to that. So this tape machine kind of stays normal to it all the time. So come off the sixteen track straight into the links, and and that's where it stays. And you know, a lot of times we we do mix back on a desk, or uh, but something happens in the box with links that I never had happen before. Uh, and I asked the guys at, at Links about it because when I bounce with the Links converter, it comes back a little bit bigger and a little bit more clear. And when I bounce the same thing on another system, it 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 sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. So I I don't know. There's something something to the the magic numbers you guys have, you know. So it's pretty seamless. It shows up, it works, and and a big factor of buying new converters for me, I haven't changed in a, a long time was the fact that I could process, you know, hardware, pro- hardware, insert things and process it, not have a latency. And and that was huge. And, and links obviously has that figured out. And that was, I don't think I would have bought it if it didn't have that, because that's something I do quite often. Sometimes I'll record, you know, reasonably clean and then reprocess back to compressors and different EQs and things like that. And, uh, and I need for it to come back because I'm not smart enough to sit there and play with with lining things up all the time. So it does it automatically, which is great, just like the HD converters. Not at all. It's pretty much plug and play. So um, that's the way I like stuff. Again, I'm not very technical, so it works. It it looks cool. I like it. Yeah, no, I've been playing instruments since I can remember. I think I started playing around four and, and always knew music is what I wanted to do. I wanted to be in a rock band and, and be signed and tour the world. And and I did achieve getting signed, but none of the rest of the good stuff that went along with it happened. So I started producing kind of out of necessity, you know, I, uh, just produce a friend's band of mine. They got a record deal. Next thing you know, I'm a producer, whatever that means. So I lied a lot and made myself a producer and, and, uh, Moved from I'm from Georgia originally to Los Angeles and and uh, kept working with artists and getting they got record deals and and now I'm living in Nashville so um, 
I don't know, kind of fell into it, to be honest with you. And, and I always loved the, the part of my favorite part about being a band was making records, was being in the studio. I always preferred the studio to anything else because I can go to home and sleep in my own bed at night. So so basically, to, to sum it up quick, uh, failed musician, lied a lot, became a producer, and now I'm in Nashville producing records. Yeah. That's the way that's the way I do it most of the time is we have everybody in the same room playing together, the singer singing live. And it's just it's so much easier to get to or see the whole picture at that time. I think it's the other way is very valid. And a lot of people have tons of success and I've done it as well. But I'm too lazy the other way. I, I like having everyone together. You feel and you can react to it. And the singer can sing loud when the band gets loud or the band can be quiet when the singer gets quiet that doesn't happen the other way around. It becomes much more of a, a puzzle. And uh, I don't know. I, I, I love, I love humanity and, and the way humans play and the mistakes and the, the timing slow up and slow down. And I love to think of music and records as orchestral, you know, as something happens when you go see a symphony, everything, you know, they, the conductor moves it and slows it. And I kind of try to do that a little bit with an instrument, whether it be a guitar or a shaker, try to guide the band like that as if it's a, classical performance you know you know what i don't know what i'm doing if somebody says they know what they're doing you know they've got it all figured out i think if i knew what a hit was or what i was doing i think we'd have one every single time so uh you know the the, the one thing i do know that i'm doing is i'm trying to have a good time all the time <laughs> like that spinal tap said you know i like to come in the studio and act like we were 15 rehearsing in our know, garage or whatever it was. There's something to that feeling that I think gets lost when you make music a business. And so I always try to keep that mentality, no matter who the artist or, or how, how, you know, careers have progressed. I always try to make it feel as if we're having a good time. Well, I think everything is, there's a lot of valid stuff out there and I've, I have other converters that are really amazing and, and do, do a thing. But the convert the, the links are the clearest example of just coming off my console and what I what I was hearing before I ever went to tape or, or ever went to uh, or stored in digital. It feels like you're just hearing what you're when you're getting sounds. Uh, there's a purity to that, and I think the links kind of just preserves the clarity of the analog without without having you know artifacts or destroying it or adding a tone. And that's why I like it. But I see depth in the links that I haven't seen prior. Yeah.